Yo, what is up guys? Dale Boy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So according to Michael Coppinger, the uh, boxing journalist, apparently Adrian Broner is scheduled to return to the ring in February next year. Now, I'm sure that news isn't going to excite a lot of you, and quite frankly, it doesn't really excite me. And some of you actually may say, Del Boy, why the fuck are you even talking about this? Adrian Broner is done, he doesn't live the life, he's, he's wasted his chance. And I get that, I hear that, and, you know, I do agree. However, an Adrian Broner return in February, I'm not all that against it, to be honest. In the right fight, I will certainly watch Adrian Broner fight again. To me, Adrian Broner is what he is at this stage. He's never going to realise the potential that a lot of people thought he did have. However, I still do believe at a certain level, Adrian Broner can be involved in some fan-friendly TV fights. You know, the problem with Adrian Broner after that Marcus Maidana loss, every time he's stepped up since then, he's basically shit the bed in these big fights. Not let his hands go, never left it all in the ring, he kind of shells up and doesn't do anything. We saw that against Mikey Garcia, Manny Pacquiao and Sean Porter. Adrian Broner is not at that level. I am not saying Broner should ever fight at that level again. However, if you match Adrian Broner with sort of B-minus level fighters or C-plus fighters, I do believe you're going to get some fan-friendly fights. And we have seen that in Adrian Broner's career. If you go back and watch the Adrian Granados fight, that was a really fun fight. Broner versus Jesse Vargas, really fun fight. Broner versus Emmanuel Taylor, another fun fight. I think with Adrian Broner, uh, the PBC, Al Heyman, they need to realise that this guy is not who they thought he was. However, again, he can still be in some entertaining fights, you know? I'm not sure which weight class Adrian Broner is planning to campaign at, 147 or 140 on his return. According to social media, he's actually putting his head down, trying to work hard and give it one more final go in boxing. Whether that's true or not, I, I, I very much doubt it. We've, we've heard it before from Adrian Broner. But, you know, at 140, 147, I do believe there are some fan-friendly fights for Broner. For example, if I was a matchmaker for Broner at PBC, if he's at 147, I think Adrian Broner versus Jose Cito Lopez could be a really fun fight. We all know what Jose Zito Lopez is about. Um, he's a fan-friendly fighter who is aggressive, comes forwards, you know, comes to fight. He's a fringe contender slash gatekeeper. I think if you throw Adrian Broner in there with Lopez, I believe that would be a fan-friendly fight. And if you're looking at 140 for Adrian Broner, maybe someone like Subriel Matias, who is a he's a very aggressive fighter. He is flawed, but he's extremely aggressive. He carries power and he comes to bring it. Again, I think Broner versus Matias could be a really, really fun fight at 140. So for me, the key with Adrian Broner at this stage of his career, the PBC really just need to realise that Adrian Broner is not the guy that they once thought he was. He's never going to be this elite level pound for pound fighter. He's not going to realise that potential that they thought he had. But what he can be is a fun TV fighter. And I do believe that if you match him right, Broner's going to be involved in some really good fights. When he's confident enough to throw back and, and trade, you know, Broner is quite good to watch. Like I said, we've seen that in certain fights in his career. And yeah, ultimately, the PBC just need to hold off throwing Adrian Broner in there with elite-level welterweights or elite-level light welterweights. Um, once he's below that level, like I said, I do believe Broner can be involved in some fun fights. And to me, that should be his role in the sport uh, going forwards, uh, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, um, what do you think of a potential Adrian Broner return? Do you care? Are you trying to be somewhat optimistic like me? Share your thoughts below. It's been you guy, Del Boy. Peace.